Now with 100% more ducks. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Avant 3 server, and I'm going to do a magic trick. Now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me, now you don't. Yes, I am up at build height. That's why, you know, as soon as I go one block higher, whoop, I'm gone, and, and now I'm done. Um, and I've got uh, to reveal something. And maybe you can hear that rumbling in the background for the theme music of the unveiling of... The Monster Spaceship. Look at all those leaves! Look at all those leaves! So many leaves! Yeah, it's running forward, right? Uh, yeah, there's so many leaves there. Uh, let's spin around so you can see that. Look at all those leaves. That That is a gob, but it is done. It is done all the way around. And it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would do using a schematica, so that's good. Plus, the thing that I, I really enjoy is looking at the different colors because of the biomes this is in. So, grassland, and over this should become river. Yep, nope, grove. There's a river around here someplace. Anyway, let's take a look at the over the, 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 the top here. Yeah, you can see all the different colors. I love that. I, I, it's so much more interesting than if it were just the one color of leaves. Now, if I wanted just pure one color leaves, birch. Birch is the way to go because those leaves don't change based on the biome. But I wanted the biome to look good. If I were in the desert, Oak would look terrible. It would look, you know, ugh. but uh, no, this is looking looking fun. And holy cow, look at all this stuff here. Let's zip down a bit, Z zip, and plop. You can see I, I got sick and tired of the mobs spawning in here, so I went ahead and capped off the the top piece with leaves. Uh, but am I done in here? No, <laughs> I'm not done. Uh, I still have a bunch of stuff to do, and this is my little access way in. And interestingly enough, the leaves don't seem to be blocking the sunlight for the the greenhouse glass. That still is kicking things along nicely, which is which is nice. But no, I want to go ahead and change this because this is looking mighty spaceshipy or man-made. <laughs> Out we go. Because uh, I, I don't want it to look man-made. I want it to make it look like it grew here. And there is Toddy's power, his uh, solar. And you can see there's enough range between these that I'm not overlapping. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, it looks very man-made here. And I don't want it to look like that. It, uh, this is the duck farm we're saying. Yeah, it looks kind of like a water tower. Yeah, yeah, it does. And, and no, I don't want it to look like a water tower. I want it to look like it grew the the trunk here has a lot of fiddly bits done to it now and yeah it needs bigger roots uh, but it doesn't look like it was made as much as it looks like it grew here so that's the sort of thing I want to do here and, and let me show you what I can do for that now let's put on some armor because you know scary things so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and this and this and let's switch to this tab um, I've got 2,000 of these uh, oak saplings here because when the other piece decayed away it dropped over 4,000 items onto the ground and the server was going because <laughs> that was a lot of work for the server to take keep track of all that so I flew around and I was vacuuming up a bunch with my back magnet that some of it despawned about half of it so uh, I want to make something look more organic here is the word I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and put two blocks of dirt there. Let's slap down a sapling. And then I want kitty corner and one block up. I, I want a transparent block. In this case, I'm using the glowstone there. And so that works out just fine. And I need some bone meal. So I grabbed a stack of bones, not, not 64, but the 4096 I can get with this uh, handy bag. Oh, these handy bags. Um, so let's go ahead and grab a stack of that. Here, let's turn you into bone meal because I'm going to need a bunch of bone meal. Having that transparent block 
kitty corner at an angle will force this to grow into a large oak tree eventually it will you know as we're seeing here i'm almost through this entire stack and nothing happens so let's grab another stack hence all these bones so eventually this should go ahead and grow yay it did this is the teeny tiny of the the large trees so let's grab you and you and you and I'll grab you back come back and if I really want to I could get rid of that one and I'll grab a stack of leaves I don't probably don't need you anymore and I can go boink boink and so now I have here a grown glob on the side of this this tree uh, let's I said I don't need it yes I do uh, let's go in and let's try something from the inside and try to get something even bigger to grow so let's try here and I need uh, one of you there and then no 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 I shouldn't use that I should use you there all right let's break you ah did not want to break that leaf there go back notice it stays yay it stays all right so let's go ahead and force this to grow and see if it will grow bigger it helps if you go grow 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 yay it grew so this I'll go ahead and chop down these and because this is an inside I don't care about that I like I care all right so let's go ahead and zip out and see how big that grew okay very similar to the other one in size so eh. but it definitely does break this up it's it's a little bit bigger than that one all right I want to grow one of the massive trees so let's do that here on this face and we'll put you right there you right there and then you need to be kitty corner here I'm not sure if having it there does anything so I'm just doing it kitty corner that's more like it all right so that grew a lot of it inside which is okay did I, I just broke you come back and we'll just you know because I can there we'll hide that a little bit oh there's one more and let's go outside and see yeah see that randomizes things a, a little bit more the bigger they grow the the more it's going to affect it the the smaller ones are, are less so but let's see how this looks from overhead yeah you can see there's a little bit of you can see it's doing a little bit of randomization here as opposed to these lines I don't want to see any of these lines all the lines should go away nature doesn't build trees like this it builds trees that are all higgly piggly and natural looking so that's what I'm trying to fake and once you can fake nature then you're good or is it fake sincerity I can't remember so over here let's try this one last time up near the top so that if it grows super tall it will poke out a lot more so let's go boop boop and chop you there we need a sapling there and then kitty corner right here will work Doink. nope 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 it's got to be high there we go alrighty three bone meal and another stack yay grew now this one is it a super size or a eh, size you don't know neither do I let's see Eh, that's not bad that's not a bad size and again we'll hide that these because they did grow I'm not gonna go ahead and start breaking leaves off of these because as soon as you start doing that yep you can see where it updated and some of these will disappear I don't want them to disappear a whole bunch so I, I tend to leave these alone but yeah that's the sort of thing I need to do around here I can also come in and and do some fiddling where I can put some random sort of stuff around and make it look like something else grew here I'm kind of a little 
structures like that. That's kind of regular, but it helps break up the, the look. Let's take a look overhead. Yay, all right. So, no straight lines. And you can see that little structure breaks up the lines, and that tree that just grew also breaks up the lines. So, this is not a small bit of work. This is going to be a massive chunk of work to to break this up so it looks more, more natural. And if I, if I really, really wanted to, I could have other smaller lobes coming out and then build off of those. Or, you know, it's this massive size. I'm going back and forth. I, I'm not sure. I might have, you know, probably away from Toddy's base, but might have a smaller lobe that just kind of sticks out about yay big and then build off of it there and maybe a little bit over here. I, I don't know. It's one of those things I'll have to see what I feel like when I play with this. So this is a bunch of work that I need to do. And let's put this stuff away. Other thing that I need to do. Well, if we drop on down here. Thump. I, I'm not sure why these flowering oak leaves look black from far away and pure white from up close. So something with my video card is, is causing that. But there are gobs of things spawning down here now because it's spawnable areas all these red x's here and so what i want i've got some painted glowstone to go through and just slap these down boink and that will get rid of a bunch of the the spawnable spots because i don't want anything spawnable it it does mean that sometimes you're going to get this weird update behavior there but say levy i'd i'd much rather have this be non spawnable and okay looking yeah see that's slightly different but you know it's it's non-spawnable that's the the main thing i don't want people who come visit you know get get uh, mobbed by by bobs because that's unneighborly so let's go ahead and fix a couple more here so that's that's what i need to do at least out to where it no longer is red yeah so i need to come out to at least here and put some some uh, stuff yep hello mr spider i've got my hey i said i had my yeah i've got my charm belt i wonder do i have a spider in my charm belt let's see shift right click right click slime magma zombie skeleton zombie i don't have a spider well no wonder the the spider was interested in me i'm extra tasty to him so where are you? There you are. Goodbye. So I need to go through and, and protect this area because there's been times, yeah, see, see all those red dots over here? There are mob, 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 mob. I've got far too many mobs spawning down here to be neighborly. So that's one thing I, I've definitely got to do. Let's break that piece there. That'll help. So that needs to be done. And I'm also thinking of doing something else that will make this work nicely. Let's head back to base and let's turn that off because that's kind of annoying. All right, so quick update. I came in here and I got rid of the extra border that doesn't really grow from the farming station. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I don't need to have that there. But what I also did is I decided to make it easier to harvest the things I need. Uh, I've got lots of leaves that are available for me. But I went ahead and stuck some of these super crafting frames onto my drawers so that as I'm growing stuff, like in this case, I'm going to need lots of glowstone to go around and, and uh, light up everything. So if I take a look, yeah, I've got nine stacks of glowstone essences in here. So if I shift left click, that gives me the recipe. And I just, you know, those eight there give me four dust and eight of these give me the, the, the lapis. If I right click this, I get one instance of that recipe. If I shift right click, I get them all, which is very nice. And then I can come over here and I can shift right click and it will convert all those dusts into uh, the, the glowstone blocks that I want. And then I can run over here, run, 
to my painting machine and I can say uh, make me a whole bunch let's go with full stack make me a whole bunch more of these and some of the suggestions were saying hey how about just put a leaf block in there and go ahead and set it up with dirt or stone or wood or or glowstone and have all your leaves do that I, I could have but we're talking about what was that 58,000 plus of these glowstones and it was faster for me to grow the leaves than it would have been to have done the glowstone so I, I decided to go this route and that's what I did uh, anyway but that's that's only one way of, of doing it the other way I was thinking of doing this was ah, getting into the the addiction that is chisel and bits it's a little chisel and no, this is just regular chisel. I want the chisel and bits. Are you... How are you... Spelled is it with the ampersand or and? I don't know. So, it is with the chisels. There we go. So, I need... I definitely need a bag so I can store stuff. What do I need for this? Wool and some stone bit. And I need some sort of chisel. So that's a lot of durability. That's not much. Iron is pretty good. Gold is hardly any. Why are you... Why would you even have a gold? Why would you use gold when stone is even... I don't know. Let's make one of these. Cheap. All right. I have gone down the, the road of addiction. And let's get some stone. And I've watched people do stuff, but I am, let's see, can I, yep, that's all I need is that little piece right there. Let's come into here, whoa, uh, I've got, let's use some of this other colors. Or does it have to be all the same one? Let's find out. Yep, it could be any color. All right, so that is my bit bag for, for storing these things. And I don't want you, I want bark. Because I'm going to use bits like this on the bark. Now if I, is it right click, shift right click, shift, no, no, no. I need to, oh, I think I need to go in and, I think I need to edit my keystrokes, uh, my commands to get the chisel thing going because I need to do a plane so I can just go gobble 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 and eat that up. All right, so let me, uh, let's do this on here. Bag of chisels, did I, chisels and bits, additive bit block, distance, grid snap, and suppose radial menu, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, left menu, uh, really? I don't have left menu key. I've got that key. Let's change you to... Do I have any C's? I do have a C. Do I have a B? I do have, do I have a B? I've got a B. An N. A. A. All right. So, you have vanished. <laughs> All right. So, N. Oh, I have to press it and hold it. So, I want... Let's do a plane, and I can go chop, 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 chop. And one more, gone. Alrighty, so, can I put you, why do you not? All right, so looking at this, I can drop that bit in there. So now I can, can I just place these? Oh yes, I can. Okay, so I can just place them individually, but I should also be able to do that from here. I want to undo, redo, connected plane, small cube, single bit. Uh, but I don't want to chisel it, I want to place it. Let's go outside and see if I can figure this out. All right, and the reason why, yeah, see? friend. Uh, the reason why I want to use the, the chisel and bits here, if I place a single bit on top, 
it is no longer a empty space here. It's a, a space with content. And so that no longer is spawnable. Now I could go through and I could replace these with painted glowstone and then at night without night vision, this would start looking spotted. And I did that over there, but I'm thinking I'm gonna do this with the chisel and bits just because, oh, I stuck it on the outside. <laughs> just because this way it is not gonna cause any lighting on the tree. And I picked the, the dark oak cause I wanted this to be dark. So there we go. And I missed. There we go. That one. Why is it? Huh. Gimme. So where was the other one that I missed on the front face? I should have taken it off right when I was thinking about it. There's a front facing one piece. There he is. Yay. All right. So that I'm thinking is the way I'm going to set these up. So these areas here are not spawnable anymore uh, because being a good neighbor, you don't want things happening. Or if I forget to have my charm belt on me and I walk along and this little guy comes by and decides to explode dope all over the place, that would not be good. And I, you know, I, I worked hard on this. I don't want him to explode my bits. So that would make me sad. That's a lot of X's. That's a lot of X's all over the place. And I'm hoping that that's a fairly small bit of work. Let's see, can I click from this? Nope, that just opens it. So I can't, uh, I'll have to pull out bits. I'm sure there's a way with the chisel to go ahead and, and do this. Why are you sometimes working and other times not? Give me. So uh, th this is my foray into the, the addiction that is chisel and bits. And I'm going to do my darndest, at least for now, to avoid doing anything more with this. Just because... <sighs> Why do I need to use chisel and bits when I'm building with blocks? <laughs> this is too big to chisel and bits it. Uh, but I think I may lean on Rose to uh, use her shop for uh, chisel bit goodness for a little bit later when I'm done with all this and uh, chat with her. Oh, other stuff that I need to do? I need to come in here and put some big branches sticking out. I've mentioned it several times, but I mentioned it again. Uh, I want this to, to look like it's holding this up. And another suggestion that, that was made is I could have put a, a, a layer of wood and then put the, using the, the builder to put the, 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 the leaves on top of that. The problem with that is then you can see through it. And now I use the the fast graphic settings so that these are not visible, you can't look through. Mainly because, for me, I like it more to, to not be able to see through that. But if we change that real quick to fancy, you can see how you can see through the leaves. And eh, all of a sudden this, this thing becomes you know a hollow thing as opposed to a tree. And so I, I really don't like that very much. Whereas here, because there's a bunch more leaves in the way and a few bits of log, uh, it's, it's harder to see through. And so I will put some leaves on the inside, but I, I, I can still use this space for doing stuff. It's just so huge that the render distance is, is such a, it, it chops off chunks and you can see through. So. I need to fill this up with a bunch of leaves, at least um, eight, 10 layers deep. That should help cut out a lot of this little glare for anybody who has the, the, the fancy settings on. Let's turn that back off because I want, ah, to me, that's, that's so much nicer looking. Anyway, plus lots of those. So I am loving this. It almost looks like an eye, an eye, and a nose. We need a smiley there. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm enjoying this. This this is fun. I 
I have always enjoyed making trees and I've done it in vanilla where it wasn't too big. I've done it in my very first modded Minecraft series because being able to fly is makes this so much easier. And this is three times as big as that one was, at least twice as big as that one was. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's got to be at least twice as big because I was already in the air on an island that I made when I went to build height. And uh, so this is uh, twice as big. It's a big tree, <laughs> but it's fun. Uh, the, the only problem, though, is where do I go from here if I make another tree? Do I do it in a void world where it goes from zero Y height all the way to the, the build height? Um, <laughs> the problem with that is render size. You get to the point where you can't see the, the entire tree. Although it is kind of cool. Let's, let's come drop down to Toddy's base. Thump. I, I was telling him, yeah, it, it's kind of looming over his base a little bit here. So that's, it's, it's, it's not too neighborly to have something this big next to somebody else's base, but uh, I, I warned him from the get-go and I gave him a, an idea of kind of how big it was going to be. It's it looks so much bigger when you see it built than when, when I was just diagramming it out and talking with him. But uh, it's really, really fun. Plus, I get the, the view from up there down here over Toddy's base and say, Ooh, yay, look at that. He's got a new building over here and a new building over there. And that's new. And oh, look at all these paths. And, you know, it's good stuff. And the other thing, I liked my stump. I thought my stump was, was a pretty good size. It's looking so tiny now. <laughs> oh, that's just funny. But, you know, it is what it is. So, I have a massive amount of work cut out for me. And I don't think it's going to be done by the next episode. No way. Uh, there's so much work that needs to be done. Particularly for randomizing this. Because uh, I've got to wait for the trees to grow. And I'm impatient. So, I'll probably jump onto something else. But... I'm having a blast with this, and I hope you are too. <laughs> hey, I can't end it there. I've got to show you a little bit of work I've done. Here, let me show you. This is kind of some of the work that I've done. It When I say I want to make this thing look a little more random, that's what I'm talking about. See, we've got very smooth, normal shapes, lines, blech. No, 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 trees grow, they don't get built. So yeah, for the last, uh, it's almost a, a day, I've been going through here, building these uh, trees, forcing them to grow, throwing a few extra little leaves around, doing a bunch of silly things like that. And let's come up here to the top. And yeah, just adding random trees and whatnot so that it doesn't look man-made. Even though it was all, you know, me. But you know, that's the way it goes. I'm liking this. I, it's it's looking good. And if we take a look here at the mini map, you can see it's there are no lines. You got all these lines here which says I was made. But this is just random stuff and and that's what I'm looking for. And I don't know why I'm pointing with my finger cuz you can't see that. But yeah, this is the sort of thing I'm looking at and I don't I haven't even done a quarter of it in a day. So, yeah, it's going to take a bunch. I did, here, put some more elevators here. So, right here at the top, zoop, down. Now we're here, under, in here, and leaves. Relic Gaming went ahead and gave me a whole bunch of leaves here, which is really nice because I am going to need so many leaves. You know, I've, I've got these that I've been using and blowing through, making the, the, the trees upstairs. But holy cow, have I been blowing through the, the leaves. And I'm going to be doing even more when I fill up the inside. It's not going to be 100% filled, but it's going to be pretty good filled. Oh, also, other stuff done. If we take again, look here. I have gone through and lit up the entire area so that there's no spawning spaces uh, inside my tree or outside, so I'm a good neighbor. And these areas that look kind of dark, 
those are where there are hills in the way and so they they don't actually show up here but they I, they're all lit up all around the top and then I also went through and did the chisel and bits to every piece that I could find around on the 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 trunk of the tree so this is non spawnable anymore and I also did that right in there too just to stop those it's because it's lit on the outside but that way no spawns no spawns anywhere don't have any magma torches that uh, I could use from 1.710, but nope, doing it this way. This works, this works. So yay, and I'm here in my hovel. Yep, it's been a blast. It has been a blast. I do enjoy building these things. They are massively huge, and that's half the fun. And I hope you had fun too. Anyway, this has been Garak the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG Avant 3 server, having a blast. Thanks for watching. Bye.